Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So you just watch a very quick unboxing of the new iPad Pro 12.9 inch. And I also have the 11 inch version. So here are they side by side. Okay, so after unboxing, the very first thing I do is update them to iOS 15 and we'll do a benchmark performance comparison between these two because some says because of the larger form factor from the 12 inch it has better heat management or thermal man management and results in a better performance compared to the 11 inch one so i'm quite interested i believe many of you are very interested as well so let's just test to find out all right so here you can see that both of them are on ipad os 15 that is was just released yesterday and i think this is still a public beta so it doesn't really represent the final version but nonetheless i think the performance is more or less the same as the uh, the final version because i don't see any performance issues from this os so i just use the this newest os as the benchmark platform and uh, we'll do n 2 first Okay, so we see that uh, from both devices, we get a score of almost 1 million. There are slight differences. The 12.9-inch uh, the score uh, 975,000, while the 11-inch actually score a little bit higher at uh, 994,000. I think this is well within the error margin, so I wouldn't say there are any concrete performance differences. Okay, next, let's run Geekbench 5 and test out the CPU performance. Okay, now we finished the Geekbench 5 and I think the performance are almost the same as well. Whether you are looking at the single core performance or multi-core performance, they are very very close to each other and I don't think there are any meaningful difference here. Alright, next we'll run 3D Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme Unlimited to test out the peak GPU performance from these two devices. Alright, so from 3D Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme Unlimited, the score difference is within 1% from each other. So I think they perform the same in this test as well. And next, let's run the 3D Mark Stress Test. To see how they handle heat dissipation, uh, that means how is the sustained performance of each of these two devices. Okay, so from the 3D Mark stress test, we see that the smaller version, the 11 inch actually scores a little bit better in terms of stability and sustained performance. The stability on the 11 inch is 65, while it's 61 on the 12.9 inch. Uh, but the larger version actually only used 8% of battery for the whole test, while the smaller one had to use 11% of battery. I think that's because of the battery capacity difference. But I think the difference is also quite minimum here. Uh, both for battery and performance okay and lastly let's run all the off-screen test of gfx bench this is also a pure gpu bench and, and uh, let's just see how they perform in this test okay the result might be a bit too small to see so i actually did a screenshot and show you here on the left is the 12 inch iPad Pro and on the right is the 11 inch iPad Pro. So actually for the last two tests, we actually see that uh, there is a performance difference. It seems that the 12 inch iPad Pro just had uh, less thermal issues. So it didn't throttle that much. While the 11 inch indeed had some throttling and the performance dropped a little bit. All right guys, that's it for this uh, quick benchmark test comparison. 
And I think the conclusion is that uh, there isn't that much of a thermal difference between these two devices, and both of them are extremely fast and the performance is very, very good. So the performance shouldn't be one of your concerns uh, when you are deciding between these two devices. So consider other stuff like form factor, like the mini LED display, but uh, maybe not performance. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.